I know gotcha games release and subsequently shut down pretty frequently, but this is absurd. Two weeks ago, I did a video titled A Gotcha Massacre, 10 gotcha games shutting down this month. 10 different gotcha games. That is crazy. That was in the month of May, 2023. Now, a mere two weeks later, there have been nine more gotcha games announced to be shutting down. That is 19 gotcha games over a two week period. More gotcha games shut down in the last few weeks than gotchas actually released, which if you think about, is a direct result of so many poor quality gotcha games being released so rapidly. Everyone is playing the better ones and therefore all of the shit that gets released kind of just becomes obscure and subsequently irrelevant. Before we go ahead and find out which nine gotcha games are shutting down though, I wanna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. You guys allow for me to continue to do videos like this every single day, and I deeply appreciate all the support. Also, if you have a moment, consider following me over on Twitch. I'm gonna be streaming the new Snowbreak Global Beta today, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and typically we stream every single weekend. We would love to have you join us. So, let's start with the announcement that Data Live Spirit Pledge Global, which released in 2020, is shutting down. Data Live is actually an anime that I watched years ago. It was admittedly a, a pretty fun anime. The official Twitter for it has 41,000 followers. The game has what looks to be some very cute characters. Some cute graphics. I'm not quite sh Oh, I see the swimsuits too. I'm not sure what kind of game this ultimately is. Uh, a simulation game, uh, a, a normal traditional RPG. I'm not sure, but either way, the game as of May 20th is now officially shut down. And then actually this, this, this is not, a, this is not Neural Cloud shutting down. I, I thought Neural Cloud China EOS introduction. EOS meant end of service, but EOS is actually just a character in Neural Cloud. I wonder if anyone else saw that. Heart attack inducing name. Yeah, the naming. I thought it meant end of service. Yeah, unfortunate name. Yeah, literally, I thought that this was end of service for Chinese Neural Cloud. Thankfully, that's not the case. Okay, so we have eight gotcha games that are shutting down. Next, we have Kamehime Project. Kamehime Project is, I mean, all right. <sighs> this kind of looks like a really bad quality uh, browser game. Why are the, why do we have like really crappy looking chibi characters and there are these like fully 3D hot waifus over on the left? That just feels very unfair. And you know, admittedly, this is actually kind of a shit looking game. I know I might trigger a few people by saying that. The Twitter for the, the game only had 11,000 followers and really had no interaction on their tweets. So understand why it's shutting down. According to the Reddit thread, it will be shutting down specifically on June 15th, global anyway, and then the game is being transferred over to the Chinese version for whatever reason. Then we have Girl Cafe Gun Global shutting down. Wait, really? Girl Cafe Gun is shutting down? Oh my God. I remember Girl Cafe Gun. I don't recall ever really investing any time into it. Man. Man. Okay. <laughs> I, I... Wait, hold on. Girl Cafe Gun only had 3,000 followers on their Twitter? Oh my God. Shut down on May 26th. Announcing this decision does not come easy. However, our beautiful memories and Girl Cafe Gun will last forever. I mean, let's be real here. It's a Billy Billy game. That was, that was to be expected. But at the same time, like, Girl Cafe Gun was one of the, f one of the first gotcha games they actually ever knew about. Like, here is a video I did on it, dude. 
Oh my, when was this posted? It was posted on my MMO Byte okay. mobile channel that I used to have years ago. Next, we have Quantum Maki shutting down on June 27th. I have no idea what the fuck Quantum Maki is. I mean, it has some hot like mecha girls, some hot school girls. Ah. Uh, oh, looks like there was a Code Geass collab that they had too. Dude, Code Geass is one of my three favorite anime along with uh, Fumara Alchemist Brotherhood and Death Note. Admittedly, I feel like the, the character models look pretty damn good in the game. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I guess it just wasn't a very good game. I can't even see their Twitter. Do they have a Twitter? They do. 20,000 followers. Oh, hey, Chaotic follows them. Dude, if, if you're watching, what do you think about them closing down uh, Quantum Maki? Oh my God, the character models look gorgeous though. Holy crap, that is depressing. Dude, Japan knows how to make some some hot waifus, Jesus. Then we have Revived Witch, which shut down globally very recently, but Revived Witch is now also shutting down in China as well. My God, the game is completely shutting down everywhere around the world in every region. That is very sad because Revived Witch was actually quite a, quite a good looking, uh, like pixel art, pixel sprite game, and had some really, really unique, interesting graphics. I think kind of reminded me of like Octopath Traveler and uh, some, some very attractive waifus. Then we have World to World, shutting down on July 31st, just five months after it launched. That is almost record setting. World to world. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Nope. I understand why this, uh, this, uh, if, if that is the in-game graphics, no, I understand why it was shut down. That actually looks fucking horrible. Or maybe this is a graphic, I don't know. I can't tell, but I think these are the graphics. And if they, those are in fact the graphics, it looks horrendous. 50,000 followers. They managed to accumulate 50,000 followers over a six month period. That's crazy. And they're shutting down after that. Wow. All right, and finally, Compass Live Arena, shutting down July 31st. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, a lot of these games I've never heard of before. I I don't know, this looks, oh my God. No, I understand why these gotcha games are shutting down. These, uh, there's one, there's one thing that I've noticed all of them have in common. None of them are heavily targeting waifu lovers. These are all games that are not traditional RPGs, and they're all games that do not target players that love very voluptuously shaped waifus. That is all, oh man, eight, nine gotcha games that are shutting down or that announced end of service this month over the course of the last two weeks. This is a trend that I hope does not continue, or if it does continue, I hope, only the really, really crappy gotcha games, the really manipulative gotcha games, the really trashy gotcha games are the ones that go downhill and ultimately suffer this fate. I hope games like Azure Lane, like Blue Archive, Punishing Grey Raven, Arknights, all continue to excel, grow, and continue to experience infinite success because they're the ones that really matter. Now, if you're looking for a new gacha to play, I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be more interesting. I urge you to go ahead and check both of them out.